All right, welcome to another episode of Real Estate vs. Technology. I'm your host, Norman Kinsey. We have our co-host, Mr. Dan Gandy. Welcome, Dan. Glad to be here. Awesome. Today, we have a very special guest from Boise, Idaho. His name is... Skip, Skip, welcome to Real Estate vs. Technology. Hey, how's it going? Uh, it's going good, man. Welcome to the show. We're excited to have you today. Um, as you know, it's all about you, your business, and technology you're using to grow your business. So let's go ahead and get into that. So um, how long have you been in the business and what made you get into the business, Skip? You know, I've been in the business 12 years. Okay. I'm, a, uh, I'm a real estate broker. I got my broker's license a few years ago. I'm uh, the son of a broker. so. That's fun. I've been kind of doing real estate ever since I was little. I bought my first investment property at 14 and off she went. Um, she nice. moved to Boise after college at University of Colorado and uh, started flipping houses in 2007, eight. So right at the tip of the downturn, as it were. So I did that from 08 to 12-ish. Okay. Still through a lot of that. I'm more of a buy and hold guy now. Um, but yeah, I'm a everything broker so wow that's that's awesome so but boise idaho is your main area that you serve yeah boise and eagle idaho i live in eagle which is a subset of boise little a little nice affluent community outside of the boise proper but yeah that's kind of my main my main area okay okay i love that it's awesome so let's talk a little bit about your business and talk about last past 12 months of transaction volume so buy side sell side what does that look like for your business so the last 12 months i've really been focusing on listings right we're the number four market in the entire united states boise i know Got it. california oregon arizona uh -huh. um washington of course seattle's big in our market, I've really been focusing on listings in the last few years because, you know, as it were, you list to last, right? Yeah. So this year I've done about 75% listings and 25% buyers. Um, I'm going to close between, I think I ended up closing. I actually deleted off my board, my whiteboard here, which is my lifeline. I'm going to close around 15 million with, nice. with said and done. Just me. And a transaction. Right. So I'm building a team with your help, with Liftoff Agent, of course. Ooh. We're going to have three to four agents in the next 12 months, hopefully sooner. But uh, that's really been my core of my business, you know, wow. working with sellers. That's awesome. I love the whiteboard slash glass board. So our viewers yes. love glass board. Yeah, the glass board. They're board. awesome. Yeah. That's, that's cool. That's awesome. Awesome. So fantastic. And then as far as buy side, sell side, you probably already answered the question. Sound like you're doing more of the sell side, less of the buy side. And, um, and I just, a quick story. Can you tell us? So I already know the story offline when we met a couple weeks back or so. Can you tell it for the viewers and listeners? Tell us a story about how you had the snowball effect on all of these listings. I remember you, you, you said, oh, that, you know, yeah. I gotta, we gotta hear the story. I gotta put it on the show. <laughs> so it was kind of crazy. Um, past client, you know, I, I do a lot. I'm not super active on Facebook and Instagram. I, I am to a degree, but uh, you know, one thing I do use Facebook for is finding out stuff about past clients, right? I follow the handwritten note method, shoot them a text message. Oh, something cool happened. Past client, real quick, of course, uh, got engaged, shot her a text, said, hey, Congratulations, I'm so happy for you. And the, the backstory on her is pretty special. She ended up living in a house just down the street from the house she always wanted to grow, raise her kids in. Really cool. Mm -hmm. So, shot her a text. She's like, Actually, I went to a bunch of open houses today. I'm like, that's interesting. Tell me more. She goes, Well, I told them all you were my agent. So, nobody's ah. you know, sweeped up, swept up by anybody. But so long story short, this was Sunday afternoon. She went to an open house, loved it, wrote an offer on it, put her under contract that day. Well, now she's under contract, got to sell her house and the fiance's house because so, they're all going to move into this place together, new construction. So 
put those two houses on the market, get her in her house. Well, her mom moved into town. I helped her mom buy a house a couple of years ago, right afterwards. She fell in love with the house across the street. So now I've got her house that she bought and I got to put her house on the market. So it's one, two, three listings and two buys with one past client and one text message. There you go. Real estate and technology. I don't know what it is. I love that. I love that. I just want to put emphasis on like social, right? Like just go in, see what your clients are up to, see what your past clients are up to for our viewers and listeners, make a comment, like just say a couple of kind words. You never know, you know, spark a conversation and then boom, skip. That's a prime example. It's, huge. it's really, that was just. Yeah. That's, that's huge. That's awesome. So next question for me, a couple last questions before we get into the lightning round. What differentiates you? What separates, separates you from other agents? What do you do a little bit differently or, or what's your kind of thing? So I focus primarily on luxury listings, right? In our market, it's over 400,000, four, four, eh, four to 500,000. Mm-hmm. I have a current listing that just hit the market at 1.85 million horse property. It's amazing. If you haven't checked it out, you should. Um, anyway, <laughs> Uh, I was going to hopefully shoot there today with this podcast, but we have back to back to back to back showings. So I could not do that, unfortunately, or fortunately, I guess. Yeah. As the case may be. But anyway, so what keeps me going is the lifeline of this. I'm a relational person. You're going to have fun. You're going to make good decisions and you're going to laugh a lot along the way. My, my marketing's perfect. I have a luxury brand. I am national and global with Luxury Portfolio International. So anything over 900,000 that I list, it goes in the Wall Street Journal, it goes in the LA Times, it goes in Mansions Global. It's a luxury global brand. So you're really gonna get more eyes on your property than Mm -hmm. you would just a little old mom and pop shop down the street. Nice. That's awesome. I love that. That's great. Now, I love that a lot. That definitely adds a lot of value for someone that's going to want to use your services. And maybe that's a, a listener of yours who wants to go into that approach. Maybe that's something that they want to do as well. That's great. So last question I have, and then we'll take it over to the lightning rounds with Dan is give us some context as far as like um, what's disrupted or on technology forefront or what have you had to adapt to over the course of your business as it's been evolving that's helped your business? Is it social media? It, what is it? Is it video? Like, what is it? It's social media and video. Huge. Okay. Media. You know, I, my mentor and or business coach is Ryan Serhant from Million Dollar Sting. Yeah, that Ryan Serhant. So <laughs> he is big. And I know Andy uses him and, you know, we've really developed that community too. But really getting out there. I mean, I have a background in theater from high school. So I'm, I'm relatively outgoing and Gregorious as it is, but really getting out there, shooting the videos, using your iPhone, have it always with me. I got to upgrade to the pro because I feel like I'm in analog mode, <laughs> you know? but you really don't need anything crazy. Your iPhone, your gimbal that I have here. Um, my, obviously I've got a ring light here that you can kind of see behind me. Yeah. It's a bring in the lighting. So, little simple tools to get out there, get your face involved. People don't want static photos anymore. They want a story. Yeah. And you know, facts tell stories, facts tell stories sell, quite frankly, they just do. And Mm -hmm. so whether it's you showing up in your hot tub, giving a quick shout out to somebody, whatever, it's really, it's kind of gotten me out there more in a way. Nice. Um, having my adorable 17 month old son really helps that gets a lot of likes and a lot of comments. Yep. But, uh, it's really been an adjustment process over the last year, year and a half. That's awesome. Good for you. Now, now personally, I'm following you with your journey in health, health and fitness. So now you got my attention and we were going back and forth via Instagram on chat. So kudos to you on that forefront as well. Yeah. And it's amazing. The power of social media It's it's freaking awesome. So that's great. Well, we're going to take it over to Dan, and Dan's going to go ahead and spearhead the lightning round. So we're going to go ahead and change the camera angle. Dan, go ahead and spearhead the lightning rounds. Let's find out about some technology that you use and skip in your business. Oh, boy. Let's oh, yeah. It. For sure. So lightning round, just a, uh, it's a quick glimpse at you know what you're doing in your business and 
what you can provide from your tool belt that other agents might be able to connect with or try out. And, um, you know, let's just kick it off. Sweet. So um, what is your number one lead source for your real estate business right now? You're going to hate me, but it's uh, past clients and referrals. <laughs> uh, it's not technology. That will change with my new liftoff site launching. And I think I get a, you know, a look at the first draft here this week. Nice. Uh, I'm really pushing toward that and using video as that platform mm -hmm. to try to generate. But yeah, it's really been, I'm strictly by referral. Nice. Really. nice. And uh, are you doing any prospecting or farming, um, you know, direct mail, cold calling or any of the traditional models? You know, I do some direct mail, mainly just listed, just sold. Hey, here's how much you can get for your house, right? Yeah. Um, I don't do the here's a 50% off coupon for your kids to go get some ice cream. I mean, it just... I don't subscribe to the whole, Hey, give them something of value because if they're not going to use it. Yeah. They're going to give it to somebody else. It's like, yeah. cool. Or it goes in a drawer or you just sent an ice cream thing to a, somebody who's lactose intolerant. Awesome. It just, it's just <laughs> not my, not my gig. It's not my MO either. It's it kind of devalues your brand in a way. I yeah, mean, would you, sure. uh, you know, you did, are you a mechanic and you're giving away like, uh, I don't know, let me wax your rims or something like, come on. It's, it is what it is, but right. totally, um, you know, I know you're moving into having a lift off agent site and getting, kind of turning it over to digital, but, um, you know, what, what's your, what's your social media game plan? I know you're, you're coached, you're coached by Ryan Serhant and I think, uh, he's probably, got, he's probably pushing you to really, uh, do some, some creative social. He is, he would like me to jump on top of tables and cars and tell the world I'm doing amazing, but who knows? Um, yeah, it's really all video focused, all video focused, um, stories, YouTube, people want to see you, people want to interact. And I, I don't have, I have had in the past a business page and a personal page, yeah. but in reality, I think just having one page, people want a window into your life, right? You're not just selling these amazing properties. You're not helping, but you're not just helping buyers. You're also a dad. You're also a cook. You're also a budding fitness model hopefully I mean, you're <laughs> something like that so i mean you're you're all of these things and people want to get to know you they want to people want to know who they're doing business with yeah yeah wow. we see we see it in all all aspects i mean there's uh you know some people's instagram's more personal focused and others is not but it's um you know i think it really comes to down to what type of real estate business are you running are you running a team are you running an individual, you know, brand? So no, kudos to you. And, and I just added you on Instagram myself. So oh, yeah. um, CRM. Second. Yeah. CRM. What do you, what are you using for CRM? Follow up boss. Nice. We've had Dan Ooh. Corkle on here. It's a good, it's a good platform. Yeah. Powerful. It's everything Easy. you need to grow with you, you yeah. know, just in the individual now, but I'm definitely going to be upgrading here in the next six months building nice. a team with you know norman's help and all that so nice and then uh any like cool technology do you use for either presentations or organization anything that you could share that uh, uh i use monday.com to keep me kind of oh, yeah going and ready yeah um sort of because i i am a relational person i am not a numbers by the book if it's not in my calendar, I don't do it. Let's just yeah. be honest. My days, my days are too crazy. Um, I have an assistant, so she kind of runs my day, as it were. She handles all my contracts, most of them. I do negotiating and showing the properties, but she really is the back end. So yeah. Monday is huge for us. Yeah, it's a good tool. I just implemented it in my real estate business. It's it's great. Um, last thing for me, you know, is there any new technology that you're interested in and in dabbling with or trying? Um, I will not be a TikTok kid. That's not gonna <laughs> happen. My demographic and my uh, <laughs> the people I sell to are or help are not twelve year olds. I know their kids are on TikTok and my nephew's on TikTok, and it drives me bonkers. But um, you know. Trying to think, man. I there's really there's always a new squirrel, right? There's always yeah. a whoop, whoop. and for years I've we should do this, we should do that, we should. 
you go with what works. And at the end of the day, it, it works. So I, there's nothing super new that I've done. Maybe a couple, let's see. Um, my fitness pal, I guess that doesn't really <laughs> It doesn't have to be real estate related, right? No, <laughs> um, I love that one. Clubhouse. Uh, Clubhouse. There's yeah. always stuff. Which one? Clubhouse. Clubhouse. You know, I, I love Clubhouse. It's just iOS only. The thing that I like about Clubhouse, which is true, I'm on there a lot. I don't start my own rooms. I get invited into a lot of rooms with Andy, with Joe Turco, mm -hmm. with, you know, the cool thing about Clubhouse is that right now, a lot of people are influencers. And so we're all learning and growing with each other on this platform and it, it can't be recorded, right? So you can say whatever you want. I guess in theory it could be recorded, but it's not. So you can get a brash tax. This is how it works. You're not doing it for CBS. You're not doing it for whatever. Um, I've learned a lot through that and just sharing. <laughs> the problem is that I'm seeing is there's a lot of, especially on some of the pages, people begging to be on Clubhouse. Hey, it's invite only. Please invite me. Please invite me. Well, at the end of the day, am I going to invite you to a party if I don't know what you're going to bring to the table? <laughs> like, I, I joke about it all the time, and I'm kind of a jerk when I say it, but, like, are we starting the dumbing down of Clubhouse? I don't know. Do I have a brand new agent that's been in the business, like, four months running a room and trying to impart wisdom? Probably not. But, um, you know, it, it's really, like, the new shiny object, which is cool, and to be able to share, that's the greatest thing about the Sirhan thing too, right? Is that we've created a sort of, I don't even know what you'd call it. I mean, I guess a conglomeration of amazing minds. So I text, I'm on a five-way text all day long with Andy Grass. I still can't pronounce his last name. Oh, God. Andy G. Andy, Andy G. He's actually in my phone as Andy G. Uh, Ali Wise, you know, Joe Turco. These are names of people, top producers that I never would have been able to meet without technology, without following on Instagram, getting into clubhouse meetings. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm followed by 150 people on clubhouse. I don't know any of these people. But I'm going to follow, right, follow you right now. Yeah. Well, they're <laughs> jumping in rooms of people that like, they see me in there and they jump in a room. I bet. Do I have anything super important to say? I don't know. Depends on the topic. I've got a wealth of knowledge, and I've seen it literally all in this business. Yeah, it's, but, it's, I mean it's it's fun. I some of the rooms are cool. Some are. I'm still learning. Like I'm I'm the worst millennial ever. I am technologically technologically not so great, which makes no sense because I'm 36. My 17 month old is going to run circles around me in about two years for <laughs> sure. No question. Yeah. No, thanks for sharing that. I mean, we, clubhouse has been an interesting journey. I, I jumped on it two weeks ago and I jump in, I've, I've never created a room I have, and then I deleted it, but, um, I was on there for a coaching call this morning and, and, uh, you know, I just want to be cautious to and saying to everybody, like you could spend a lot of time, and get nothing out of it in there. Oh yeah. And that's, that's the, uh, it's because it's not so public facing and being able to create that brand attraction and, and being able to relate with people with face and video. Um, I, a lot of times I jump in there. I'm like, you're like, why this age is making like $500 million a year. Like, why are you sitting in clubhouse? <laughs> like it doesn't even make sense for your business. <laughs> so so I yeah. think you just have it on while they're sitting at the, I just have it on sometimes on conversations where I'm doing stuff, writing contracts and I'll have it on and I'll jump in every once in a while. If I'm a moderator, if I'm not a moderator, I just don't talk and yeah. listen, I absorb, but generally speaking, Oh, that was one other technological thing that I love Slack. Oh yeah. We use it. Oh, yeah. I love the Slack channel. Huge fan. Hate Facebook groups. Love Slack. Cause it's, you can just dive into exactly what you need. Yep. With that, without all the extra stuff going on there. So, uh, so I, I, I love that. And that's, a, this is the first time we actually kind of deep dive a little bit into the clubhouse app. So that was actually cool to, to hear a little about that. And thanks Dan, for spearheading the uh, yeah. lightning rounds there.
Cool. So uh, we have three more questions, and then we'll open the floor up to you, Skip. Cool. So last couple of questions that I have for you. So do you consider yourself in the positioning sector of your business an expert? So within Boise or for first-time home buyers, first time, like you, any of that uh, kind of? Yeah. So I am an expert in, I've dealt with everything over 12 years from first-time home buyers to your seasoned investors, right? Most of my clients are either second time, second, third time buyers, hmm. buying investment properties by, you know, upping their game from a 300 level to a 600 level, et cetera. Um, I also work with a lot of investors. I'm working with an investor right now. I don't think it, oh, it's on the whiteboard. He's buying five units, you know, five, you know, five out of nine units. And so the eventual goal is to then buy it's five units the goal is to in the next as soon as we get these under contract or closed you know nine days we're going to start buying the rest of them and offer to purchase the, the rest of them so we control the building um i work with a lot of investors i've got spreadsheets which will be downloadable on my website um to help you guys out takes you to the life of the loan life of the property cash flow cash on cash all of it from day one of the property purchasing to day seven, or not day seven, year seven, where you typically sell a property. You know, mm-hmm. the life of a property is one to seven years, typically on an investment side. Shows you everything you need to know. I'm also apparently, not intentionally, I've sold two horse properties in the last <laughs> four Giddy months. Up. I unfortunately know a lot about septic tanks and well inspections and all that stuff. Um, I'm getting calls left and right to sell horse properties, which is awesome. Wow. And I've never sold one before this year. So I'm an accidental expert. That's cool. I love that. And you never know. You never know where the business will take you, right? <laughs> you really don't. You really don't. Oh, that's, that's awesome. So as far as the geographical, so do you do anything with buyer farms, seller farms? Do you take that approach at all? You know, I focus primarily on Eagle for my seller farm. Um, mm-hmm. Eagle, North End, Southeast Boise, which are the higher price point areas. Um, it's basically what you're looking at. Okay. Awesome. Fantastic. Last question I have for me before we move on. Your secret weapon. You have something that like when you have a customer who wants to sell their home that you kind of lead into with like, I'm going to sell your home for top dollar, less days on market. Is there something you do? You know, I'm, my secret weapon in this business, unfortunately, is honesty. Okay. Good one. It just is. You know, so many people are blowing so much smoke of, I'm going to sell your house for this. Zillow says it's worth this. So it's probably worth this. They didn't take the time to look. They didn't. They gave them a price before they walked in the house. They didn't mm-hmm. see that the carpet needs to be replaced. They don't see that we've got some issues we need to take care of. Um, I'm also in a position where, for some of my sellers that are not in a position to make the needed repairs, I go ahead and do it for them and get paid back at closing. Um, just because oh. it's the, uh, it's not so much the people, it's the property, it's the deal, right? So. I, I work for the seller. Yes. But I also work for that property because Mm -hmm. five years from now, I'm going to be competing with that comp Mm -hmm. two years from now. I'm going to be competing with that comp when I list the house down the street. So I'm very brutally honest. You know, when somebody thinks it's worth X amount, I have no problem. I'm not one of those agents to say, well, I'll take the listing just because I want it. Well, no. Mm-hmm. I, in 12 years, have never listed a home that is not sold, ever, period. Wow, dude. I, lo- I love I love the fact that you're willing to take your own money, invest into that property to show that seller that, hey, like you can have confidence in me because I'm going to invest in you. And you want that money? Fantastic. We'll get you that 550 or whatever it is. But this is the things that we need to do. This is how much it's going to cost. And here's the contract side on the dotted line. We're getting this thing sold. I yeah. love that. 100%. Good for you. That That's awesome. So we're at the part of the show now. We're going to leave the floor be open to you. So for our viewers and listeners out there, is there anything you want them to know, whether I know you're looking to grow your team or if there's a project listing, oh, yeah. going on, go ahead. Now floor is yours. Yeah. I mean, it skipped if every real estate is growing. 
I'm, uh, I'm part of an amazing, amazing brokerage. You know, a lot of agents jump around, go from brokerage to brokerage to brokerage. They try out Keller Williams for a while, don't like it. They go to Sotheby's for a while, they don't like it. <clears throat> I am with Amherst Madison in Boise, Idaho, which is an incredible, incredible family of agents. So we are, we have 120 agents, I think right now. We're competing with brokerages with 1,800 agents. 1800 and we beat them in production. That's awesome. Awesome. All year long, we we're in the top three or four. Wow. And so, I mean, a lot of that's thanks to several amazing agents in our office, but I mean, I'm a, I'm a partner there. So we have partners and associates and it's kind of run a little like a law firm, but we're a family, right? And that's super important because when you work with me, you work with my family and off-market deals happen all the time between family, you know, yep. it, you got somebody for this. I got something coming up in two weeks. Yeah, sure do. Let's do it. You know, it, it's, it's really amazing to see when you put lives together and people together, I would say I'm more of a connector than I am mm -hmm. anything else. And that may be connecting a person to a property, a buyer to a seller, a seller to a financial advisor. You know, you don't just get me when you work with me, you get my my group, my contractors, my painters, my electricians that I've weeded out over 12 years. I'm basically Angie's list at this point. <laughs> and I, I have the guys that'll run over and, oh, by the way, that soffit looks terrible. We need to get it painted. You know, I, I had, speaking of technology, now with ring video doorbells, oh my goodness. Every, nothing's sacred anymore right? Mm -hmm. People are showing houses and I get a call immediately. They were talking smack about my house. They walked out. What didn't they like? Well, they, the first thing they saw at the shop, it was not painted correctly. You know, it was weathered. Yeah. You know, yeah. A painter out there in an hour, he'll fix it, but watch it. They'll buy your house. What? How do you know? Nobody ever talks bad about a house knowing their cameras there. If they don't want to push the price down. Mm. Yep. So uh, I always tell my clients, whenever you're working with me, we're buying, we're walking through a home. Don't say a word till we get to the car because I need to be able to handle the transaction. And if they know that you're gung ho and you're, can, you're already picking out the fabric They're and the area rugs, guess what? Your full price or greater because yeah. they know darn well, you're not walking away from this thing. Wow. So that's another thing that, you know, I've, I've really kind of, developed over the years is my connections with people. And, you know, you're going to have fun, man. I mean, I, you can't take life too seriously. I mean, it's, it's what it is, is when you're buying a home for most people, this is the single biggest financial decision you're ever going to make mm -hmm. period point blank. And you're really, really, really stressed about it. Let me be stressed about it. You not be. You pay me handsomely. Well, as a buyer, you don't because I work, the seller pays the commission. But you pay me to worry about it. You're freaked out. You can't find a house. You've lost that on 15 deals because we're in the number four market in the nation. Every offer, every house under 500,000 has 15 offers. No question. They're waving appraisal, waving inspection. Done. Wow. And it's crazy. And it's really, really, really stressful where normal Idahoans right now can't buy a house. They just can't because our wages are not commensurate with how much the houses are going for. And so it's a really stressful time being a buyer and a seller. But you know what? I take on that stress for you. I, I know that. at the end of the day, the deal's going to get done. Whether you're selling, I've never listed a home and not sold it ever. Trust me when I tell you the best interest of the home, it will sell. Every home will sell based on market conditions and price. If those three things are aligned, it's, I don't see price going off on a tangent because I always do. I don't see price as an exact science. It's an art. It's yeah. Not yeah. You know, why price something at $499,900? Why do that? Well, because it looks cool. It doesn't say 500. 
Okay. Well, you just missed all the people and all the searches because agents are lazy. You just missed all the searches that go from five to five twenty-five. It's <laughs> not gonna show up. Mm. Yep, I learned that a long time ago. That's I mean, that, that's technology dumbing down people. Going, hmm, it's just easy. The MLS will send them whatever I need to do. I don't have to do anything. Well, I hunt. I search. I write letters for buyers. If they can't find the right home and they want to live in this neighborhood, guess what? I'll write you a letter saying, I have an active buyer looking for this home, this criteria, my title company pulls all the, all the info, letters go out and I write them handwritten because that looks like a kid did it, if I'm being honest, but they're more likely to open it. If it's not typed on a computer, if it's not a perfect label, who, who, who wrote me a handwritten letter? That's cool. Different. Yeah. Yep. Gotta yeah. stand up. Gotta do it. Wow. That's awesome, Skip. I have to say that uh, I love the cadence. If you're looking to be on the team, reach out to them. You're looking to hire Skip, reach out to them. I like your approach. I like your transparency. I like how you approach just your business as a whole. And I really appreciate you being on Real Estate versus Technology. So thanks so much, Skip, for being on the show today, man. Thanks. Look forward to everything you're going to do for me from a website. And we're going to grow together. So we are. We are. Be sure to follow Skip. Got him behind me. And uh, Dan, thanks so much for being a co-host today on the show. Yeah, nice to meet you, Skip. Thanks, Dan. Appreciate it. And thanks to all our listeners and viewers for being on the show today. It's our intention for you to take something that you can apply to your business, have more massive success, and we will see you on the next one. It made it to the end. Well, thank you so much for watching Real Estate vs. Technology. We hope you found value, especially something you can apply to your real estate business. If you could do us a favor, we would appreciate it. A thumbs up. If you subscribe, hit the notification bell. You'll be notified for new episodes coming out. And comment below, what the heck did you learn? If you want to join our Facebook group page, there's a link right here. And if you want to be featured on Real Estate First Technology, send us a DM on our Instagram page. We'll see if we get you on the show. So take care. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.